you've flown and enjoyed your Sky Viper, time to take things a little bit further. The amazing thing about your Sky Viper V2450 GPS is it is the gateway to an amazing world, and that world is the world of RG Pilot. You need to head off to rgpilot.org, find yourself the Mission Planner link, download that, and install it. Once you've installed it, connect to your Sky Viper via Wi Fi, as if you were using your controller, and then select the UDP link in the top right. And you need a number of 921600 in there and 145050. And that will connect to your Sky Viper and start downloading all the parameters that you can fiddle with. I think Tridge said there was about 800 or so of them that you can fiddle with. So don't fiddle too much until you're confident. But it also opens up uh, other avenues and other exciting things. So you see, it, there it is, it's downloading them, and eventually, once it's downloaded them, you can um, uh, pop up into the top, and you can open that spanner, and look at, oh, there they are. That's all the lovely parameters to change. If you're an experienced RG Pilot user, you'll know exactly what you're using, or seeing here, and you can change and save any of these items. So that's the connection to mission planner well, what can that do for you um well just looking at mine i've got adsb coming into my mission planner so now i can see real aircraft that's real aircraft flying around me in south africa and i can see them on mission planner that's very cool you can also have a look and see what all this fuss about unmanned traffic management systems is all about because you can connect even with your humble sky viper you can connect yourself via mission planner to um, a UTM and that UTM is uh, Altitude Angel. You shouldn't be connected when you do this for the first time. Make yourself a free Altitude Angel account and sign up as shown here uh, once you're in the, in the GCS. I have to pause while the typing's happening. Maybe I'll speed this up when we do it. Uh, but it's all straightforward. It's like many, many other things. And what that's going to do for you is that's going to pull data and information into the ground control station data and information that you'll find useful um, now controlled airspace is the obvious one things not to hit not to be not a lot of controlled airspace by me but what there is is there's railway lines and power lines got to consider those power lines look this is where they all join together uh, there they all going into the substation so that's cool so not only is it in my part of um, South Africa it's all of South Africa there's some more airplanes uh, you won't get that um, if you're in South Africa and you want to have airplanes in your feed as well then drop me a line and I can sort you out with that now if we have a look in at England and zoom in there um, you're more able to see what I think is pretty cool and that is um, parks uh, areas areas where you might want to be a little bit careful um, parks police stations all sorts of other things uh, let's go over to um, and use there's Vancouver even so see there's the whole world the whole world is is um, shown and you're able to to look at that with your humble sky viper uh, fly down here let's have a look even even Brucey even mr. Simpson down there in Tokora is shown up and uh, no times appear on this uh, I think yeah look, there's the parks near him which he's not allowed to fly in and there's the airfield this is where Bruce is and he should be in one of these hangars up to no good even as I fiddle around with this mission planner so that's pretty cool if you want to have a look at uh, Altitude Angel independently we also have it on SUS News it's on the front page you'll see it there on the drone safety map so you just click on that and that'll take you there and you can have a ferret around and do some pre-flight planning so for 150 dollars it's a pretty cool way to get into the rg pilot ecosystem rg pilot is fantastic in that not only will it fly multi-rotors but there's firmware for helicopters aircraft boats cars i'm gonna forget many things but if it's autonomous tractors <laughs> that's a good one if it's autonomous the RG Pilot project will have somebody that can drive it. So behind Sky Viper, 
there are thousands and hundreds of developers all working hard to make it better all the time. It's a system that's going to grow as humble as it is.